Christian is the guest referee in this world heavyweight title match between the Viper and the Celtic Warrior. Hi, I'm Attack Slug. This is my ongoing Let's Play of the 2K Showcase mode. This is the One More Match DLC. And before I begin, I must make a special case here to shout out people who actually used the fan funding and made the next DLC possible. Uh, not all the votes are in yet. Obviously, we haven't finished this one yet. When all that is, this one's done, then I'll tally up all the votes and see what the next DLC will be. But it's already paid for, so I want to get my sheet here and make sure to shout out people who actually donated money to make that happen. Uh, first and foremost is X360SVR7. Uh, you're awesome. Uh, we have Riot9. I think I'm saying that right. Riot9 uh, from Queensland, Australia is awesome. And there was a bit of controversy here with another... So, so there were three donations. There was a dollar and then two fives. So, two guys, there were two donations, both from Queensland, Australia, and the other one was Nikachu Gamer. And I don't know what the deal is, but I'm going to mention his name anyway, just in case. Uh, always important to cover all the bases. And so, yes, you're all awesome. And uh, the next DLC is happening as soon as this one is done, uh, which at this point will probably be Sunday, I think, is the plan for that. I'm going to try to do two events today, two events tomorrow, and that should wrap up. Uh, one more match, and then, but that depends. If the events, if one event takes 20 minutes, then it's just going to be one event. But, uh, we're going to do our guest referee shit here and hit X. So here we go, it is Friday. It is a match on SmackDown for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Christian is the guest referee, and he still wants his one more match. We're playing as Sheamus. We gotta perform the high cross on Orton and critically damage Orton. I wonder if we hit Christian, do we get disqualified? Uh, or would they be more lenient on, on that stuff? I'm not sure. So, it is Friday. It is almost the weekend. I am excited. Uh, by, by, by the time you see this, uh, Perplexing Pixel should already be up. So go check that out if you haven't yet. Uh, we played SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. And uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, next week, I'm not really sure on yet. I'm still kind of doing the prep work on it, so I can't, I can't commit to what that's going to be yet. But I'm hoping uh, it should ideally be hilarious, and there might just be a special guest person uh, on that one. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But for right now, you know the usual schedule of a bunch of videos this weekend. So you know, watch as many as you want. You know, more best of videos. I got some more other. Absolute things in the works. Uh, I'm going to try to look at uh, Splatoon, hopefully, uh, if the network test for that game uh, actually works, because that's like tonight at like 11 p.m. So ideally, uh, I'll get that recorded and hopefully have it up like tomorrow morning, maybe. Um, but that's if Nintendo has figured out how to work the internet, and I don't trust Nintendo figuring out how to work the internet. But anyway, that being said, I did watch. The first half of Raw, finally, uh, last night. And I will say, I am certainly growing to like the New Day, uh, as much as that seems bizarre, because, man, they were dumb when they started. That was just terrible when when they started. So, high cross. Nope, that's white noise. So, what is the high cross? Uh... Approach, acquire a finisher icon, approach Orton in the ring, and plush triangle. Hmm, that's kind of what I did, uh-oh. Bro kick. No? Oh. Was this before the bro kick? Was this in, he was just doing the high cross? Huh, how about that? Out of nowhere, oh no, Christian, oh no, ref bump! Uh, but, I, I didn't mean to do it, I... I it wasn't me. Ah, fuck you. Um, so, uh, oh crap. Um, so, I have a soft spot for any time you have someone, uh, where their gimmick is their heel, but they think they're a face. Uh, like, old school Kurt Angle, guys like Bo Dallas, you know, that, that, that little, you know, bit of trope is, is, has always been, uh, if, if you do it right, it is a fun thing. And I, I like the fact that they are the tag team champions and they are using the free word rules as there are three of them. 
Now, if you're not familiar with the Freebird rules and you listen to Booker T, Booker T does not understand what the Freebird rules for the tag team titles actually means, which is weird considering he certainly he certainly worked in the, you know, being from Texas, he worked down south, you know, during WCW and, you know, days when there were still territories, you know, he was he was in in wrestling. So to explain it properly, when you have three guys in a faction, and I know Demolition also used this thing. When you have three guys in a faction and they win the tag team championships, any of those two guys on any given night could be defending the tag titles. That is what Freebird Rules is. So you don't know, as the opposing tag team, you don't know who you're going to be facing that night because it could be any of the two guys. Um, that is Freebird Rules. It is not, oh, it's a three-on-two handicap match. It's Freebird Rules. Like, no, that's not. That is a three-on-two handicap match. It's not the same thing whatsoever. So I am hoping that Michael Hayes, after Raw, uh, chewed out Booker T because Michael Hayes was in the fabulous Freebirds. So that is why the WWE Network exists. Go learn you some history. You know, it's good stuff. Anyway, um, here we go. High cross. Basically, he, it's the border toss. Basically, Finn Orton. Power pin. And he's not counting. Thanks a lot, Christian. Douchebag. Oh, my arm. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oldest trick in the book. Yes. This, he, I mean, he's not a trained official. He's, he's not... He hurt his arm. Kill switch. RKO out of nowhere. And then he counts. Fast count. And then he gets the kill switch. Or an RKO, either way. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Obviously. Oh, hits him with the belt. That's it. He's got to be dead. Looking for the peeps. Yup. And then he wants one more match. So I like the parts where they're obviously using the actual audio from these events. Like that is a thing that I appreciate as, you know, part of the, the attention to detail. Like, hey, let's not get them in a VO booth. Let's just use what we already have and just kind of like slip it in there. Like that that stuff is uh, appreciated. So hopefully more of that in... Oh, video package. Okay, so obviously you're not seeing this because, you know, it's video package. And I don't want to get content ID'd as I have in the past. Uh, and get my videos blocked globally, because that's not cool. So, we are once again recap recapping Edge and Christian and their massive tag title runs. And then we're recapping Christian winning the World Championship for the first time, which he held for a whole five days before losing to Randy Orton. And Edge has that weird flannel shirt thing on again. And, yeah, we're... This, I mean, this kind of, we've already seen this video package, more or less, but they're going to they're gonna show it to us again. And then, people in the crowd are very upset, the Christian lost, and then some running hugs to guys, and there's little Nate, and then the bro kick. And then, Randy Orton, when he still punched down on the ring before he hurt his wrist doing that, which is really funny when you think about it. Um... And now Christian's kind of doing his heel shit where he's like, we do things on Christian's terms. I want one more match. I earned it. Everyone's like, boo, Christian, boo. But he was still all right, you know? Capital Punishment. The pay-per-view that was headlined by John Cena versus R-Truth for the WWE Championship. That was R-Truth, to my knowledge, his only uh, shot at a world title. I could be wrong, but it's the only one that sticks out in my memory was for Capital Punishment. 
which that was our truths epic heel run before they fucking went face in that shit. And, oh, L little Jimmy, now he's a face. It's like, no, that he was so much better as a heel. It was fucking hilarious. It was amazing. So that's the end of that video package, and then uh, we're going to jump into what the next event is going to be for today. Uh, and I'm actually not sure what it's going to be, but we'll find out in a second here. All right. They, they just said, Capital Punishment, Randy Orton and Christian in his one more match. Randy Orton has been cleared to compete tonight at Capital Punishment. A lot has been made over a concussion Randy Orton suffered at the hands of Christian a couple of weeks ago. So the other part of Raw that I had not seen up until last night is that they're really going forward with a Husky Harris, Skip Sheffield, I mean, uh, Bray Wyatt and Ryback feud. Uh, I thought you were either Nexus or against us. What happened to that? You guys are supposed to be bros. What the hell? Um, so that's weird, but okay. That's, those are two guys I just don't, like, that feud to me makes no sense. Like, don't get me wrong. I am someone who is totally for every mid-card guy, and make no mistake, at this point, Bray Wyatt and, uh, Ryback are mid-card guys. Uh, I am all for mid-card guys, all of them, having a storyline and a feud however you want to get that accomplished, because random matches don't mean much of anything, so have some kind of an impetus behind it. But, if you were to tell me, name two guys you don't ever want to see actually having wrestling matches, because what the fuck is that going to look like, it'd be Bray Wyatt versus Ryback. Like, I don't think those styles match up at all. Now, I could be wrong. Obviously, the match hasn't happened yet, you know, so maybe it'll, it'll be a five-star classic. I just don't... I don't see it being any good. And... The Bray Wyatt, where he cuts the same promo every damn week in his black room with some smoke looking for the cosmic key. Um, and then Ryback, who just has the most awkward promos in the world. Uh, I don't want to see them. Oh, it's that terrible hit the switch shirt. Oh, I hate it so much. It's such a bad shirt. Um, yeah, Ryback's promos uh, uh, not the best. But he has some good, like, off-the-cuff stuff. Like, when he did the, um... When he did the shell shock to the guy in the banana costume and the hot dog costume, and he goes, It's funny because they're food! Like, that was really good. But when he, he tries to cut, like, his, like, serious promos, it just doesn't work. I liked him better when he was a bully. Um... But... The perspective of having... Or... I'm sorry, the prospect of having more Bray Wyatt and Ryback promos back and forth is just the most uh, nails on a chalkboard TV I can think of. It's just don't, don't do that. Like, have them be intense and fight, but just the back-to-back -back promos on Raw was just, I was like, what are you doing? Stop. All right, enough Christian in his terrible ass hit the switch shirt. Like, what the fuck? Anyway... I do like the continuity that R-Truth is still scared of spiders. That is such a weird throwback to when he was in that match for the, for, it, it was a uh, Money in the Bank? Um, I think it was Money in the Bank. And he was, he was scared of heights and scared of spiders. Like, the fact that they, they've kept that continuity for the past, like, four or five years is amazing. Considering how often they forget any continuity in this company. And just go, that never happened. You're not going to remember that in six months. So him, I mean, maybe he's actually afraid of spiders. I don't know. Uh, or maybe Vince just thinks that's hilarious and has kept it around. I don't know. But Christian is bitter. He's a bitter man. Here we go. Once again, one more match. Uh, who are we playing as? Will it be Christian? Or will it be Randy Orton? It's Randy Orton. RKO and a critically damage. So, here we go again. Got these red, 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 white, and blue ropes because we're in the nation's capital and it is capital punishment. Which they only ever did once because they were having it in D.C. So, why they haven't gone back there for pay-per-view? Uh, I don't know. Perhaps they have, but they, did, they didn't call it Capital Punishment. Float over DDT. 
So yes, as I said, I am, you know, waiting until I film the last of these, and the day that I film the, the last of these, which might be tomorrow, uh, de depending on how long the last two events are, I will tally up the comments on the video that I said to ask for comments. So not this video, the one that I said to ask for comments, which was like like two days ago, three, three days ago. Um, uh, go look back, it's the one, it was the first, what, or no, the, the, the second, uh, the second? I don't know. I want to say this is the second or the third of the One More Match uh, episodes where I said in the beginning that we completely got fan-funded and then, you know, just look at the comments. And if you see people that are doing a bunch of votes in the comments, that's the video. Um, and then that will stop with your bullshit, Christian. Uh, that will de determine uh, if we do the Hall of Pain next or Path of the Warrior next. So either way, that's going to happen right after this one. Uh, so there's not going to be, you know, the gap of a week where I wait to see if those videos actually make any money, and then, you know, see if I can, get, can hit that, that goal. It's already been hit, so we're, we're already good. Uh, and obviously we'll see what happens after that, you know, for the one after that. Um, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Hangman DDT. Here we go. RKO time, baby. Charge finisher. He's vipering up. This is vintage Randy Orton. Out of nowhere. Nope. That was not a finishing maneuver, so no. Unless you get the magic roll up with the with the distraction, you're gonna have to hit your finisher at least once, if not twice. Hops the spear. RKO. Nope. Hits the spear. 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 Wow. So basically, you can lose there if you don't kick out. If you don't hit the fucking appropriate kick out, which is sad. Load over DDT. Do, 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 do. Randy Orton top rope. We just drops the knees. Drops them big knees. So I, th I think it's interesting that they actually don't give you any kind of a good or bad rating on these matches. Like in when you're when you're in the really, oops. When you're in the my career, obviously it's gonna give you stars on your on your matches. But in here, it just kind of says, hey, as long as you win, it's cool. It's fine. Whatever. That's interesting. Like, I don't know. If I'm, I, I don't know if I'm having quality matches or not. Not that this game actually knows, but all right. Irish whip into the corner. I can do that. That is the circle button. Here we go. Kick in the face. Nope. RKO out of nowhere. Out of nowhere! Nope, leg on the rope, leg on the rope, leg on the rope! He was under the rope. And now and, and now Christian can complain that his leg was under the rope. And says, no, you that doesn't count. That's called rope break. That has been a, a thing forever. Pay attention, ref. Oh, the ref was out of position. Oh, blah, blah. Pay attention, ref. It's your job to pay attention. No, 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 I mean, under the rope, goddammit. Yup, but the ref, ref was out of position and you couldn't see it. Let's watch the replay. Guess what, guys? He's gonna want one more match. Imagine that. The name of the DLC. And hit with the belt. Boom. People still got like the the people in the crowd still have the positive signs for Christian, even though he's a heel. Uh, 
in his match. So that's, you know, one of those little things, a little bit of detail that they don't have in the games, unfortunately, is that they don't have two sets of signs for when he's a face and when he's a heel. You should. Uh, here's another video package again. There's Teddy Long. See, he still exists. Holla holla. Gonna be a tag team match player. Um, but you didn't have him in the game. Like, you didn't have his polygon model of fucking Teddy Long coming out and making a, a tag team match. Pe peanut head. Um. Yes. One more match. So there are two more events. We're gonna watch the next intro, and that'll be tomorrow's uh, episode. And perhaps that'll be the end if I get through two tomorrow, and perhaps it won't be. But either way, we're, we're gonna roll into the next DLC immediately after that. Ah, uh, bring out the lawyer. You, you couldn't get yourself Clarence Mason? He's not, you know, around? I'm sure he's around somewhere. Bad officiating. Good times. So. Teddy Long. Alright. Video package. Good times. Is this where he gives him the RKO through the table? Because you can't have... You can't have a, um... A contract signing without some kind of fracas without some kind of uh thing happening at, at, at the end of it that's usually how it goes he poured water on him oh no nonsense oh we're getting into the randy orton has ied and the anger problems and so what this is reminding me of in these video packages is that i from the I almost forgot about Michael Cole in his own announced booth that was that fucking actual booth that was around him. So fucking stupid. We sp they spent how long on building up Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler at WrestleMania? And that why was that a thing? Why was that a thing? Mm, so dumb. Heal Cole on commentary. No. No. So obnoxious. So we're going to watch this Money in the Bank in Chicago that conveniently lines up with you know, the other 2K showcase, which was, uh, we already played that one. Go, go watch that one. That was John Cena, CM Punk. But the other belt on the line that evening was Christian and Randy Orton. Good times. I don't know about that, considering that, you know, there are two more events here, so we're going to assume that Christian wins this one. But if not, I'm sure he'll find some way to finagle one more match, because we got two more events to happen. Alright, enough of this, uh, look of her as peeps. Entrance here, we've already seen like 40 times. And here comes the Viper, Randy Orton. The Viper is known for his calculated demeanor. The question remains, will he be able to keep his composure during Christian's brand of psychological warfare? Or will his IED get the better of him and, and use the punt? He's cold-blooded, like some type of reptile. I can't think of what one, but I assure you, he is as cold as some kind of rep reptile. Like, I don't know, some kind of a, like a rattlesnake? No, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. Anyway, Randy Orton coming to the ring when I hit X button to get to the end of this nonsense for today, which is Friday, and I got, like, Aaron Strong today, and it's nice out, so that's cool. We're in spring. We're, you know, making our way into this into this the summer here. Um Yay, Christian, yay. I'm excited, yay. Oh, Tony Chimmel. Yup, Randy Orton. Fun fact, I am the same age as Randy Orton. We, we were born in the same year. And look where he is and look where I am. So yeah, I'm not the best life choices on my part. But anyway, uh, can't get disqualified or you're going to lose his belt. 
this. And you know, Christian's a veteran. He knows how to push Randy Orton's buttons. He's going to try to do anything he can to goad Orton into losing his cool. Here they go. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. We're going to see who we're going to be, gonna be, gonna be playing as here as soon as this uh, cut scene decides to end. What's he doing here? He's like, here, here's a chair. Here's a chair. Use it. Wait a minute, I don't wanna get I don't wanna get DQ'd. Nah, son, nah, son. Nice try. Alright, can we get into the gameplay now, maybe? So I can actually hit pause and go run errands today? That that that'd be nice. I hear they've got a whole aisle of Jurassic Park toys now at Toys R Us. I'm going to go look at those. Um, Alright, here we are. We are Randy Orton. So, that'll be tomorrow. Randy Orton versus Christian. One more match yet again. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. And I will tell you that, as always, I am your host, Attack Slug. Thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends. And I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.